My name is Robert Bjarnason, and I'm the president of the Nonprofit Citizens Foundation. In this episode, we will introduce you to our foundation and some of our work. We were founded in 2008 in Iceland and now have two independent offices, one in Iceland and one in the United States. Our mission is to help connect governments and citizens by creating open online engagement platforms and offering consultation to governments on how to best plan and execute successful citizen engagement projects. The Citizens Foundation believes in progressive futurist solutions to current problems facing our electorate, which we hope will liberate politicians and citizens alike from stagnation, gridlock and corruption. We have recently seen technology undermine our faith in debate in the public arena. We believe that innovations in technology can be used to restore faith in democratic debate and institutions instead. The first platform we built is called Your Priorities. It enables citizens to come up with great ideas and debate those without personal arguments or trolling. Your Priorities has been used in hundreds of engagement projects in over 20 countries the past 10 years. Citizens add ideas can view other people's ideas and take part in effective debate about each idea. When we launched our first project in 2009 in Iceland called Shadow Parliament, we had a regular commenting system that you are no doubt familiar with on Facebook and YouTube. And not surprisingly, in the first 24 hours, we had a really nasty personal argument where two people were initially discussing fisheries policy, but the discussion quickly devolved into a toxic personal argument. So we thought to ourselves, Oh no, this is going to be more difficult than we thought. We started to look at other options and got inspirations from many different places. We came up with the idea to create a debating system that was more like a university debate than a chat down at the cafe, where you have the two sides of an argument facing and convincing an audience. Our debating system is simple. For each idea, you can add points for or points against. Once you've added a debate point, other people can vote the point up or down, but they can't comment directly on it. They will have to write a standalone counterpoint that has no direct connection to your initial point. This makes trolling almost impossible and personal arguments very hard, and is the key to the high quality engagement that is achieved when using the Your Priorities platform. Better Reykjavik is a co-creation project of the Citizens Foundation the city of Reykjavik and its citizens. It connects and improves trust and policy. Better Reykjavik uses your priorities. It's a platform for crowdsourcing solutions to urban challenges and has multiple democratic functions. Agenda setting through your voice at the city council, participatory budgeting through my district, and policy making. For example, the crowdsourcing of the city education policy until 2030. Better Reykjavik has over 25,000 registered users in a city that has about 100,000 people on its voting registry. It's mass citizen engagement. It creates significant value for citizens and the Reykjavik city administration. Smarter New Jersey is a new project by the government of New Jersey in the United States. To make policies that work, the state is tapping its most valuable assets, the intelligence, expertise, and know-how of its people. That's why they're creating new and innovative ways for the public to contribute to the policymaking process. Smarter New Jersey uses your priorities for its first project, the Innovation Engine, an open innovation challenge that leverages the hard-earned knowledge of state employees to make government more effective and efficient. Not an Open Price is a new project on your priorities by the nonprofit Promoting Economic Pluralism. They have launched a crowdsourcing challenge to find the thinkers and doers that have new economic solutions we need to meet the challenges of the 21st century. We believe that artificial intelligence offers massive opportunities when used for democracy, with the explicit aim of empowering citizens democratically. Your priorities already has many AI features, including machine translations, speech-to-text conversions, recommendations, and toxicity detection. In an upcoming release of your priorities, we're adding a new feature that uses deep learning AI to identify how similar ideas on the platform are. We can then notify citizens about similar ideas 
as they're composing their own, and create 3D maps that show clusters of similar ideas for each citizen engagement project. This gives citizens and administrators a new way to look at the results and to identify and explore trends across project and time. Thank you for watching this first episode from Citizens Foundation TV. In coming episodes, we will shine light on how to execute successful marketing campaigns, dive into detail on how the Your Priorities Administrations feature work, and cover many other subjects connected to citizen participation and civic engagement. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or Facebook page to be notified of new episodes. Contact robert.citizens.is or just at citizens.is if you have any questions or ideas.